I'm Trent Palmer, I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. All right, guys, being out here up on the side of a hill all by myself with a bush plane made me think of a couple comments I've gotten from people asking, are you ever worried when you're out there by yourself doing this stuff? And, you know, it brought up a bigger topic of, are bush planes safe? Is what I'm doing safe? And I don't know, I guess, obviously I feel like it's safer. I wouldn't be out here doing it. I don't have a death wish or anything, but the idea of safety is really relative, I guess in the big scheme of life, and what you consider safe. If you're comparing bush flying to sitting on a couch and watching a movie with your wife, then no, it's not as safe as that. But you know, I guess the best way to equate it is just aviation and general aviation. It's pretty widely known that general aviation is statistically much less safe than commercial airlines or um, air travel. So. From that standpoint, obviously a bush plane is going to be right in with general aviation. It's not going to be any safer. I guess the best thing to compare it to would be driving. And now general aviation as a whole, I'm not just talking about bush planes, has been referenced to driving a bunch of times. And it's kind of hard to figure out where it stands because driving is, is measured off of miles driven. They have deaths per 100,000 or million miles or whatever it is. And then flying's done by hours. What I do know is in the United States, there's an average of about 30,000 people that die in car accidents every year. And then about 400 people die in general aviation crashes. The difference is obviously a lot more people drive cars than they do planes. So when you start looking at miles versus hours, I think on an hourly scale, general aviation is more dangerous than driving a car. However, if you're looking just sheer mileage because planes are often flying faster and farther, general aviation is safer than cars and I haven't found any statistics that speak about bush planes. But I guess that's a pretty broad question in general. Are bush planes safe? Well, I guess it really depends on the plane and the pilot. Because in a whole, bush planes to me are normally single engine, very simple aircraft. There's not many systems or controls, so there's not a, a huge chance of the pilot becoming oversaturated with tasks. So. I would say from the simplicity standpoint, the planes are probably better or safer than most other ones because you don't just have that much to handle or that much to deal with. The other thing is too, bush planes land a lot slower on average than another standard general aviation aircraft. So what you end up with is a plane that in the event of an emergency, since it's going slower, is gonna have less energy to dissipate because it's at a slower speed. All that energy is built up with weight times velocity, that whole spiel. But overall, it's pretty easy to say, if you're going slower, it's a little safer. So from that front, I would say bush planes are pretty safe. Are bush pilots safe? Well, that's kind of tough too. I guess that's gonna vary. But in general aviation, the number one cause of fatal accidents is pilot error and the leading uh, category in that would be loss of control. So my theory is that a bush pilot might have less tendency to have a loss of control situation once they're used to the operations they're doing simply because we are doing normally a lot of maneuvering at low altitude, at low speeds. We are accustomed to how the airplane flies like that. We understand the limits and we are more in tune and in practice with our airplane versus say a pilot that's just a cross country guy that just you know, hits the throttle, takes off, flies flat and level to the next airport and then lands. We're often flying in the train rather than over the train. You know, we, we're dealing with a lot of adverse conditions. And then also when you're landing somewhere like here, there's no center line, there's no thousand foot markers. You don't have an approach slope indicator. I would argue that we as bush pilots are a little more well prepared for off field type landings. We understand how to read terrain, how to use that terrain to our advantage and we aren't gonna be as likely to do that whole freeze up, install your airplane and spin, which is really the biggest issue I think that, that a lot of people find in deadly accidents is the, the pilot stops flying his airplane. It's something that's been a real issue. And I think obviously the more maneuver practice and the more stalls and things I was just doing that a pilot does, the more on top of the airplane they are and therefore safer pilot. Okay, that was a very wordy and lengthy explanation. But yes, I think bush planes are safe. Obviously I would or I wouldn't be doing it. I definitely wouldn't take my wife up here doing it. Again, it's the big thing that I, I've noticed. 
I've had a lot of friends bend up their airplanes, so I'm not gonna tell you that people aren't crashing bush planes, but what I've seen is most of the time it's over something stupid like water skiing to shore, or finding a rock they didn't know was there, spins their airplane around and bends it. I haven't had any of my friends get seriously injured, just bent metal. And so to me at the end of the day, if people are just bending up their toys, that's a lot better than them going out and killing themselves. So I would say bush pilots as reckless as we can be. I think that we're operating in a realm that allows us to make our accidents at slower speeds that are normally not as dangerous as the guys that get into true accidents with the larger, faster aircraft. Anyway, that's enough of the morbid crash talk. Let's go fly. Here we go. And tails up. And we rotate it and let's dive off the edge. Oh, that was so fun. <laughs> and back into another canyon run. Oh man, that is just legitimately more fun than should be legal.